So, ano, uh, how, how do you see the Filipino community in Toronto now that you've been here? Uh, as I've said, uh, the way I see it, uh, or anywhere in any part of the world, the Filipinos are always productive, uh, in, in general, always uh, peace loving, law abiding. And uh, I, I just wish that uh, you know we will all be united uh, here as a community because uh, in, in unity there is strength. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. We at the Philippine Consulate General in Toronto are delighted that you have brought the Philippine Fiesta experience here in Canada. I'm sure that the sights, the sounds, the flavors of the fiesta will add a beautiful strand to the multicultural landscape here in Canada. And uh, moreover, I hope that we also uh, celebrate the Filipino fiesta spirit of sharing, of hospitality, and of friendship. Maraming salamat po. Happy fiesta sa inyong lahat. Very heartwarming indeed to see the overwhelming participation of the Filipino community in this uh, year's Taste of Manila. On behalf of the Philippine Consulate General in Sydney, we would like to convey our felicitations to PIDC for the 17th run of uh, Maguhay Philippines. Festival. I'm very happy to be here and I'm very pleased to join you in tonight's uh, opening ceremonies of uh, this year's festival. Tunay pong mabuhay ang PIDC led by the indefatigable Ms. Norma Carpio for your seven for your 17 years of dedicated and com uh, committed uh, work in promoting culture and heritage in the city of Toronto. I hope that you will never get tired of doing this novel task and I wish that you will continue to celebrate we will continue to celebrate Mabuhay Philippines Festival year after year after year. Mabuhay Philippines Festival is a showcase of the best of the Philippines from our vibrant festivals, our flavorful cuisine our graceful dances, our melodious music, our artisanal arts, crafts, and fabrics, to our stylish and elegant fashion designs, showing the best of the Philippines. And on that note, I would also like to acknowledge the presence of one of the icons in the Philippines fashion industry, fashion designer Rene Sadu, and also Shannon Pamano. Talaga po masasabi natin na ang galing at ang husay ng Pilipinas. Um, you know, I arrived three months ago, so I'm relatively new. And every time I meet people, almost always they would ask me, Hey, how do you find Toronto? And I'd say, Oh, it's a charming city. And I think that's the truth. It's a lovely city with your collection of uh, beautiful architecture from Victorian to Romanesque to the modern skyscrapers. It's really a very lovely and charming city. But then they would remark and say, oh, wait till it's winter. Or I hope you don't change your mind winter time. And so I think, Ooh, it could get really, really cold here, eh? <laughs> and then a friend of mine said, Oh, Rose, um, if you have a good Canada goose, that will tide you over, that will carry you through. So it's not really the cold, but uh, it's the length of winter. It's too long. And so if I thought, hmm, if the length of winter gets to you, then we have the perfect getaway for you. And that's Winter Escapade 3. And uh, so um, this uh, special tourism package is on its third run. That's why it's called Winter Escapade 3. And we have invited all of you here tonight 
to give you more information about this uh, tourism package and to let you know what's in store for you, uh, for people who want to participate in this uh, uh, special tour package. Um, Magandang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, before I read the message of the President, let me just say a few words of my own. Uh, kami po ay talagang lubos na nasasayahan dahil kayo po ay kasama namin sa pagdiriwang ng ating ikas, uh, isang daan at labing walong anibersaryo ng kalayaan ng ating bansa. And... Um, as we celebrate uh, today, we also celebrate our freedom. We also celebrate our triumphs, the challenges that we have overcome as a free people. We celebrate the Filipino spirit, resilient, hospitable, ingenious. We celebrate the uh, world-class talents of, uh, and skills of the Filipino people. And that is the reason why we are bringing this year uh, the best and the brightest in our country. We have two so young sopranos who will sing with, uh, to you um, later on. And also uh, towards the latter part of the month, we will have a chef flown in uh, from the Philippines two chefs actually. One is uh, Chef Mina Segismundo and the other is uh, Chef Gio Sandique. I also wish to acknowledge the uh, rich talent within our community and as an example we have here our Rondalia from Scarborough and um, I think as we move on uh, towards our journey as a nation and as a free people, kayang-kaya po natin kung tayo ay nagkakaisa, nag-aambagan sa pagsulong ng ating bansa. And We're happy that for a day we are transporting the heart and soul of the Philippines here in Toronto. And uh, it's uh, becoming uh, bigger and bigger every year. And uh, we're participating here to show the beauty of the Philippines and what we can offer in terms of goods, services, and products. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to congratulate PIDC and uh, for this uh, for putting up this wonderful uh, festival and also this is a day for us to uh, demonstrate the Filipino spirit of Bayanihan and this is also the day for us to showcase our cultural heritage and our um, unique uh, cultural tradition and uh, to our Canadian friends please take the time to discover our country, our people, and the best that we have to offer. Maraming maraming salamat po. Good afternoon. Thank you very much, Consul General. Well, I'm, I'm feeling very proud right now. Uh, I really take pride in the richness of our culture and uh, this distinct identity of the Filipinos. And as we've seen, we have a very rich pool of talents from within the Filipino community here in Toronto. And uh, I also congratulate um, the uh, Fiesta Filipina Dance Troupe for upholding our culture and uh, our heritage in this uh, multicultural landscape of Canada. So was it uh, very impressive? Very when impressive. You, when you see this song? Yes, very impressive. Uh -huh. And uh, dance and music are really powerful art forms because it uh, speaks to the soul, to the heart of the audience. Okay. All right. Thank you all.
kong sabihin na uh, kagaya po ni Dr. Jose Rizal, tayo po, uh, lalo na yung ating mga OFWs ay modern day heroes. Yes. So, ipagpatuloy po natin yung ating ginagawang pagtulong sa ating bayan, sa ating bansa. Maraming sa mga. Uh, I'm so grateful that you are here tonight despite the cold weather. Um, thank you for accepting our invitation. I hope that uh, you had a Christmas full of joy and happiness and that your new year will be full of uh, new hope and blessings. This is uh, a wondrous time of the year as the song goes. We wish to take this opportunity to share with you our accomplishments for the year 2016, which would not have been possible without your support and cooperation. Thus, tonight is an occasion to express to you our warmest appreciation for all the help that you are giving to us. And it is also an occasion for us to uh, share with you what we intend to do uh, for the year 2017. Um, Good evening, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. I'm happy to be part of this forum on social entrepreneurship in addressing poverty. Mr. Meloto, or Tito Tony as we fondly call him, and I met in uh, Paris when, when I was posted there. And uh, we were reminiscing a while ago that we used to issue um, so many visas to French volunteers who wanted to uh, go to the Philippines for work in Gawad Kalinga. And I think. Uh, Thank you so much for inviting us to be uh, part of your picnic today. Um, this uh, event comes at the eve of our celebration of the 119th anniversary of the proclamation of Philippine independence. Uh, it's sunny weather, um, it's warm, and uh, it sort of uh, gives you a, a feeling to reminisce what really happened on the day of June 12, 1898. Alam po ba ninyo kung anong oras ipinoklama? ang uh, kalayaan ng Pilipinas. Tama po, si uh, Joe Damasco. Yun po ay itinaklama noong linggo, June 12, 1898, between 4 to 5 p.m. Ang una pong ginawa ay binasa ni Ambrosio uh, Rianzales, isang advisor ni Presidente ni uh, General Emilio Aguinaldo, ang Act of Proclamation. At pagkatapos po ay in-unfurl ang Philippine flag mula po sa bintana ng kanyang tahanan. Wala po yung, ano, yung Miranda. Wala pa po yung all kasi uh, ang original po mula sa bintana. Okay? At pagkatapos po noon, uh, pina, pina, pinatugtog yung uh, national anthem. Uh, ang isang banda po ang tumugtog. Uh, I think... Um, from Malabon at pagkatapos ko ay uh, sila ay sumigaw ng mabuhay ang kalayaan. Mabuhay si General Emilio Aguinaldo. Well, that's just some sort of trivia to start our day. Um, Mga kababayan, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. On behalf of the Philippine Consulate General in Toronto, uh, I wish to convey our warm greetings to uh, the uh, organizers of the Taste of Manila headed by uh, its founder, Mr. Rolando Mangante. And uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate them for organizing this year, which is the fourth Taste of Manila. Taste of Manila has been a showcase of uh, Philippine cultural heritage. We have featured our songs, our dances, our music, and most especially uh, our food. 
uh, in in this part of uh, Toronto, which I think adds to the uh, beautiful and uh, diverse cultural land landscape here in Toronto. And uh, sa yung masaya sa pagdalaw namin dito sa Jollibee. It has been a part of our way of life in the Philippines and we're happy that uh, uh, Jollibee is now here in Toronto and uh, I know that uh, our uh, kabayans are happy and we're also happy to share uh, the taste of Jollibee to uh, the Canadians. Thank you very much. Okay. Before I read the message of our president, let me just a few, say a few words of my own. Distinguished leaders of the Filipino community, mga kababayan, isang mapagpalayang umaga po sa ating lahat. On behalf of the Philippine Consulate General in Toronto, I wish to com convey our warmest greetings to the Filipino community in Ontario as we celebrate a milestone in Philippine history, the 120th anniversary of the proclamation of Philippine independence. 120 years ago, many of our forefathers made the supreme sacrifice in order to give birth to a Filipino nation underpinned by the principles of love of country, freedom, justice, and equality. Nation building is a never-ending task. The generations before us worked hard to secure our patrimony by safeguarding our national security, growing our economy, and cultivating our cultural heritage. Today, our journey as a nation continues and is incumbent upon our generation to rise up to the continuing challenges and threats to nationhood and nation building. The Filipino nation today cuts across borders. We have a growing number of Filipinos overseas, including the 800,000 strong Filipinos in Canada, almost half of which are here in the province of Ontario, who are contributing to the progress and development of this country.